Hi friends, today I'm going to be reading Why Do Dogs Bark by Joan Holub. Why Do Dogs Bark by Joan Holub, illustrations by Anna DeVito. Dedication page. Now let's begin. Do you love dogs? Many people love dogs. Dogs are even called man's best friend. There are over 100 kinds or breeds of pet dogs. Some popular breeds are retrievers, cocker spaniels, poodles, beagles, rottweilers, and German shepherds. Dogs that are a mix of breeds are called mixed breeds or mutts. Which dogs are smallest and biggest? Dogs come in many different shapes and sizes. Chihuahuas are the smallest uh, dogs. A teacup chihuahua will fit in your hand. Mastiffs and St. Bernards are the biggest dogs. They can weigh over 250 pounds. That is about as much as four kids your age. Really big dogs. Which dogs are best? No one breed of dog is best at everything, but many breeds have special skills. Greyhounds can run fast. They have powerful legs and thin bodies. Some can run 40 miles per hour. Terriers are brave. They will hunt animals that are much larger than they are. Retrievers are great swimmers. They have webbed toes that help them swim. They can even swim underwater. What can your dog do best? How many puppies can a dog have at one time? A group of puppies born at the same time is called a litter. A mother can have many puppies in one litter. Five is the most common number. One dog had a litter of 22 puppies. Newborn puppies of all breeds look a lot alike. It can be hard to tell what breed a newborn puppy is. How does a puppy grow up to be a dog? Puppies are born with their eyes closed. They can't see or hear until they are two to three weeks old. When puppies are three or four weeks old, they begin to walk, bark, play, and wag their tails. Puppies drink milk from their mothers until they are five to seven weeks old. They may also lick their mother's face so she'll spit up food for them to eat. They are usually, then they are usually ready to eat puppy food. Most puppies become full-grown dogs when they are one year old. Are dogs related to wolves? Yes, a long time ago there were no dogs. Then people taught some wolves to be helpful. Over hundreds of years, some of these wolves changed. They became the dogs we have today. Other wolves did not change. They are still wild. What is a pack of dogs or wolves? A pack is like a dog's family. Dogs and wolves like to eat, play, and sleep with their pack. Each pack has one leader. Your dog thinks your family is its pack. It thinks someone in your family is the leader. Do you know who the leader is? Why do dogs bark? Your dog barks to protect your house and yard. When a stranger comes around, it barks to sound an alarm. It wants to tell you and your family that a stranger is nearby. Your dog may also bark to tell you a stranger to go away. Sometimes, or some dogs bark to greet their owners when they come home. Why do dogs howl? Some dogs howl when they are lonely. If your dog is alone for too long, it may howl. It is trying to find you or its dog friends. Other dogs may howl back to say hello. Some dogs howl when they hear singing, music, or sirens. They think, they think it sounds like other dogs howling, so they want to howl back. Why do dogs bury bones? Dogs and wolves almost always want to eat. Wolves must work hard to find food. They eat fast before other animals can steal their food. That is where the saying, wolf it down, comes from. When wolves have extra food, they bury it to save it for later. Pet dogs also worry that someone will take their food, so they eat fast too. Some pet dogs bury or hide bones to save for later. Does your dog do this? Can dogs see better than people? 
Dogs can see better than people can at night. They are also better at seeing movement from far away. But dogs do not see color very well. They can see the color blue, but most other colors look gray to a dog. Can dogs hear better than people? Yes. Dogs can hear high tones and soft sounds that people can't hear. You can't hear the high sound of a dog whistle, but your dog can. Dogs can also tell which direction a sound is coming from better than you can. Why do dogs sniff you? There's no sniffing. Smell is a dog's most important sense. A dog's sense of smell is one is over 100 times better than your sense of smell. A dog sniffs you to find out who you are. It can probably tell if you are afraid by how you smell too. Does your dog sniff you? Your dog remembers how you smell better than it remembers what you look like. Why do dogs lick people? Dogs smell through their nose. They also smell through very tiny openings in their mouth behind their top front teeth. Licking can help dogs find out who people and other dogs are. Dogs may also lick people because they like the taste of their salty skin. Why do dogs pee so often on a walk? Dogs pee on to leave their own special smell behind. They want other dogs to know that they were there. They are also saying, this place is mine. Why do dogs roll in stinky stuff? Dogs sometimes like to roll in other people's poop or garbage. They do this to cover their own smell. In the wild, some animals run away if they smell a dog or wolf nearby. Dogs and wolves cover their smell so they can sneak up on other animals. Why do dogs pant? When a dog pants, it breathes hard and fast through its open mouth. Dogs pant when they are hot, too. It helps them cool off. People sweat to cool off. But dogs cannot sweat through their fur. They lose heat through their tongues instead. Why do dogs have bad breath? Over time, slime forms on dogs' teeth and gums. This can smell bad. Dogs can't brush their teeth. Wouldn't you have bad breath if you never brushed your teeth? Why do dogs wag their tails? Dogs wag their tails when they are happy. If a dog's tail is down between its back legs, it is scared and unhappy. When two dogs meet, their tails show what they are thinking. If their tails stick straight out, they are deciding who is in charge. If one's tail is high and the other is low, the high tail dog is the boss. What other ways do dogs talk with their bodies? Your dog uses its body to show how it feels and to tell you what it wants. When your dog rolls onto its back, it might be saying, you are the boss, or rub my tummy. If its tails and ears stand straight up and it shows its teeth, your dog is angry. When your dog holds out one paw, it is asking for something. If your dog bows down on its front legs, it usually means it wants to play. Just like this dog, he wants to play. What kind of jobs can dogs do? Your dog's job is to be your friend, but dogs can do many other jobs. Some bloodhounds help find lost people. Their keen sense of smell also helps them track criminals. Sheep dogs and collies can herd. They are good at rounding up sheep or cows. Some huskies pull snow sleds. They have thick warm fur and lots of energies. Some German Shepherds are trained to be seeing eye dogs or police dogs. They are fast learners, very smart, and good at obeying directions. What are other kinds of do jobs can dogs do? St. Bernards are good at finding people lost in snowstorms. They have a strong sense of smell. They can also sense the body heat of a person buried under the snow. Doberman Pinschers can be guard dogs. They will bark to scare away strangers. Some dogs are actors. They are good at following directions and staying calm. They do not get upset by the lights and noise on a television or movie set. Are any dogs heroes? Balto. Many dogs have done brave things. A sled dog named Balto once helped carry medicine to a town in Alaska. He ran for 20 hours in a snowstorm. Without his help, many people would have died. Barry. 
a St. Bernard named Barry rescued many people and lost in snowstorms. He once saved a small girl who was buried in the snow. He laid down next to her to keep her warm. He then pulled her to a nearby house. Buddy. A German shepherd named Buddy was the first seeing eye dog. Buddy was trained to help a blind man. Buddy helped him cross the street safely. For the first time, the man could travel and go to work on his own, thanks to Buddy. Do dogs understand words? Experts think that some dogs can learn 20 or more words. This helps make, do make dogs easier to train than many other animals. Most dogs can learn the command words, sit, stay, and come. Do ma dogs may understand many other words. How many words does your dog know? Training. Good dog. When your dog is old enough, you can teach it to obey and do tricks. Train your dog for only one to five minutes each time. Teach one trick at a time. Speak slowly and clearly. Never hit or shout at your dog. Always say good dog and give your dog a treat, a hug, or a pat when it obeys. Training your dog to sit. Hold a small treat over your dog's nose. Move the treat backward over your dog's head. Gently push your dog's rear down until it sits. Each time your dog sits down, say sit and give it a treat. Training your dog to come. Stand about five steps away from your dog. Look, its, look into its eyes for a moment, then say come. Use hand movements too. Try to teach your dog to sit instead of jumping up when it comes to you. Training your dog to stay. Hold one hand out with your palm facing down. Say, stay. Keep your hand out. Step away from your dog slowly and say, stay, over and over. If your dog does not stay put, start over again. Most pet dogs want to be their owner's best buddy. Your dog loves you. Take good care of your dog and it will be your friend forever. Isn't that right, June?